Well, hello there, my dear. Well, that was quite the jump. You almost jumped as high as I could. Come with me, silly. We're going to spend some time together. I want to bring you to my forest for a bit. Yes, I'm serious. I've wanted to bring you there for quite some time, so please don't be nervous. I, I could probably force you to come with me, but I would rather not. That wouldn't be very nice of me anyway. Will you come with me, dear? Yay! Come here, sweetie, let me hug you. Mm, yeah, big hug. Hmm, I called you sweetie. Well, that's because you're ever so sweet. And now you're blushing. Oh my goodness, you get flustered way too easily. We're almost there. Hey, you're kind of moving a little slow. Are you okay? Oh, you're tired? It wasn't that much walking. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess you're not a kitsune like me. Well, we can take a break right here. Here, I brought some water along, too. Oh my goodness. That was, uh, kind of loud. Well, we better hurry and get some shelter. It seems like real thunder boomers coming our way. Here, let's take shelter in this cave over here. Don't worry, it's okay. We should be able to ride out the storm in here. Oh my, well, it's really coming down out there. This is quite a storm. The wind and everything, you know. Looks like we won't be leaving anytime soon. Uh, are you okay? You look terrified. Sweetie, you're shaking. Don't tell me nothing's wrong. I can tell something's wrong with you. You're embarrassed to tell me? Come on, silly. I, I know you're shy, but you don't need to be around me. Oh, I see. You're afraid of the thunder. I'm not asking. I'm well aware that's what's troubling, that's what's troubling you. <clears throat> I can read minds, you know. Yes, I, I am afraid that I, I did read your mind. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I just really wanted to know what was going on. Oh, come here, sweetie. Big, big hugs. It's okay. It's alright. Shh. I know the storm is scary. You know, I can help calm you down a bit. Mm-hmm. And that's right, I can help calm you down with cuddles. Yes, cuddles, you heard me right. What do you say? Yay! Come here, my little spoon. Well, you are a bit smaller than me, so... Of course I'm going to be the big spoon, you know. It just makes sense. I want you to feel safe with me. Shh. Let me just stroke your hair gently. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have read your mind yet again. That was pretty rude of me. Uh, I really hope you can forgive me. It's, it's just a habit, you know? Mm, to be honest... Part of why I've gone to those lengths is just I need to know when something's bothering you. I, I really do apologize if it's an, an invasion of your privacy. But you're so shy sometimes you won't tell me what's bothering you. I can't have you suffering in silence. Nope, can't have that happen. Well, I care about you because you're my friend, dummy. Plus, I can tell there's something else that, um, that you might have been hiding from me for a while. Maybe some type of feeling. <sighs> I just feel terrible. 
I, I read your mind a while back, and I saw something that really stunned me. I mean, I thought it was absolutely adorable, don't get me wrong. I, I didn't want you to be pushed to confess to me after I, I did that to you. Oh, you look so flustered, sweetie. You don't have to confess to me. I just want you to know the truth. That I know you've fallen head over heels for me. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I love you too. I've never had these sort of feelings for humans before. I've been around for a few hundred years, mind you, give or take. Never once have I felt this way about someone. Mm, I've been happy to, to know you, sweetheart, you know? I, I really have. Mm? Oh, yeah? I guess I have been around for a long time. I'm old enough to be your mother. <laughs> Actually, more like a few generations further than that. Do you have a thing for 500-year-old year women? <laughs> that shocked expression just proves your innocent self. You're such a cutie. Let me hold you, sweetie. Do you feel safe and warm? Held against my fur, my floof like this. Oh, you're blushing still, sweetie. Oh, I love you so much. You love me too? Did you even realize you just said that? <laughs> you're so silly. No, I didn't use any of my magic to make you confess. You did so on your own free will. Well, I guess I did tell you how I felt on that one day we met. Do you remember that day? You saw who I really was that day on campus. You didn't judge me at all. You didn't tell anyone what I really was after I told you about it. I thought about manipulating your memories so you would forget about it. But I could tell you were trustworthy and you wouldn't tell anyone. That's when I realized you had a bit of a crush on me. Oh, what did I tell you, sweetie? You can't hide anything from me. Nope, not one bit. I saw your intentions and knew you would keep that secret for me. And I could tell you were attracted to me, darling. That's right. The storm is still going on. Here, I'll keep you safe, sweetie. I'll wrap all of my nine tails around you. No need to thank me, my love. I'm so happy I can finally tell you how much I love you. Hmm? What was that? Read your mind. Okay, if you're sure. <laughs> of course, baby. That's adorable. I'll use my tails to play with your hair. Do you like how that feels? Oh, I'm glad. You're safe with me, sweetie. The scary storm won't hurt you. No, it won't. I'll hold you close to me as long as you need. You more than deserve it. If you want to fall asleep here cuddling with me, that's okay, my love. Be my guest. I promise I won't let you go. I know us Kitsune are known as tricksters, but I would never ever trick you. I can tell how afraid you are of the storm, but luckily enough you feel safe with me. I feel like I don't really deserve your trust since I've been reading your mind without your permission. Oh, you're so sweet to forgive me, my love. I promise to love you for eternity. You won't have to go back to class or work anymore. <sighs> I've been around for so long. I have plenty of resources, dear. I can take care of you forever, my sweetheart. What do you say? Lovely, absolutely lovely. Now go to sleep, sweetie. You need some rest. 
and I will hold you and never let you go. Good night, sweetie. I love you. Oh, yes, I love you.